Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing well. As you know, Counterblocks has been down for some time now, and um, we all know that Counterblocks 2 is on its way. It's coming around the corner. I wanted to quickly make a video talking about Counterblocks 2 and showing some more leaks, showing some more info, and as well as some predictions on when the game is going to come out, because I do have a guess as when it's going to come out, and I know everyone wants the game to come out, and they're working on it really hard, but it should come out soon. Before I get into all the other stuff, based on how much, how fast they're going and how how hard they're working on a game, I want I think I, I want to say that the game will be out in, in around two months. So I would say give it around one to three months. I think the game will come out for sure before Christmas and I think around Halloween time. Around two months is my prediction for when the game is going to come out. There is no set relay. As well, at the pace that they're going right now, they're working on it almost every single day and a bunch of new stuff has been coming out. If you guys do enjoy these videos and want Counterblocks to come out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to keep you guys up to date as well as when the game comes out i'm going to be giving away a bunch of stuff and i'm going to be showing a lot of info so what i first wanted to say is that they will be adding b hopping to the game so if you guys know in csgo you can b hop so it's like it's pretty much just like jumping but moving from side to side and you just like everyone knows everyone knows who plays counter blocks and knows what b hopping is but they are adding that to counter blocks too which is actually like kind of really cool everyone wants to do that and it's actually like a really cool skill to know they were also talking about changing the movement a little bit just like refining the movement making it better they are also as i showed in my other video if you guys haven't seen that make sure you go watch that but i did talk about the guis but they are changing a bunch of stuff on the guis so so they added they made some changes to the menu and in the inventory menu showing you guys what type of sets you guys want to put on your on your i guess wheel or um, what is it called? The in-game wheel, <laughs> whatever it is. And they also, we can see that they have trade-offs. I don't know if I talked about trade-offs, but I don't know if they were in a recent leaks, but they are adding trade-offs to the game. If you guys did play Counter Blocks for a long time, there were trade-ups in the game. And so like basically what a trade-up is, is you have a bunch of blues, right? You put the blues in and then it gives you a purple or like some stuff like that. And they're adding that and that's actually really useful because we all know that we all have those, uh, we have a lot of those AK code oranges or we have a bunch of those blues and we just want to get better skins. And right there, guys, we can see that training is coming in the game. I'm still getting a bunch of comments about you guys talking about like, Danny, are my skin saving? Every skin is going to save in the game and all the inventories are going to be loaded back as well as badges and as well as credits. That's what they're saying. Another leak that's posted is operators. So... I think they're making it so you can change uh you can change your character how they look like or the operator so when you're in the main menu or like the or when you're in game they have like you have a different like like you have different sleeves and you just you just look different in the game this is just a troll it's not actually how it's actually look, gonna look like but they're just gonna look different the different operator i also wanted to show you guys that they are adding ranked i know i talked about that but this is like for sure they're adding ranked and they're adding they're adding wingman and duels that's actually kind of cool and team fight so 5v5 2v2 and 1v2 so there's gonna be three ranks to the game as well as look at this this is the thing when you have a party to join your your friend's party to invite people it just looks so clean and just like i'm actually just super excited for when the game is going to come out all right what i really wanted to show you guys is the glove models they're just making a bunch of new like they're working on the glove models this is not the final thing but i'm just glad that they're working on it like a good amount like i'm just gonna quickly show some of the skins on the screen right now you guys can pause at any time so right here we got the axe model looks really nice it just looks it looks so much cleaner than how it was the old model was actually super ugly and then we got the cleaver right here. We got the Cosmos gut knife, the Crimson Tiger ni gut knife, the um, Hollows gut knife. It looks so nice. Is this the, um, what is this one? This one is called the Consumed. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mad how blurry it is, but it's, it's okay. I can't really do anything. This is the banner. Everything. Oh, and this is the Blood Widow. So everything got reskinned. It, it looks a little bit different, but to be honest, I like it. I like it. This is the Geo one and then the Toxic. Or that's the Goo, sorry. And then we got the fade. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what is that one? Digital? I don't even remember this thing in the game. Eggshell. And then uh, I think Frozen Dream, right? Yeah, Frozen Dream. It looks super nice. Oh, and it changed the Blood Widow. Okay, so this is the Blood Widow. Okay, okay, okay. That one looks really nice. This is the Lurker one. This one was a rare. And then the Festival one. So they look way different. They look a little different than how they were in um, old CB, but I think it's for the better. It looks so much cleaner. And I'm actually so excited to see these in game because they look so nice. Look at the rusty. And then that's a topaz. And then we got the marble. Marble one actually looking good. Like this is actually like a usable skin now. This one looks the same. Ooh, this one's nice. And then I think that's the gift, right? Or like the present. Okay, present. And I look at the Butterfly Argus. This one has some nice details to it. It just looks so nice. It just looks so clean. I'm just so excited to see these skins in game. I'm just going to quickly pass through these. And you guys can just pause at any time. 
got wrapped. We we announced all the info in the Discord server. So just join the Discord server, just discord.gg slash 123D. And if you guys want to see what they post, you guys can hit them up on Twitter. All right, this is what I love. Oh, the butterfly freedom looks just so clean. It looks um, like actually insane. I can't wait to see the thing in game. I got to get my hands on one of those. I don't think I have one of them in my inventory. Crimson Tiger butterfly knives. Oh, and I wanted to say that they're bringing, they're bringing back the old butterfly knives. This is the old butterfly knife model. This is not the one that was used in the old CB. A bunch of, a lot of the, like the whole community love the old butterfly knife, uh, knife models. And it just looks so much nicer. And I can't wait to see all like the animation changes too. The Reaper looks so nice. I like the Cosmos. The Cosmos might be one of my favorite ones. This is the Consumed. Looks so cool. The Blood, the blood Widow looks way nicer than what it used to be. And then the J Dream just looks so clean. That doesn't, that shouldn't, or that's actually not J Dream. My bad. Okay, that's why it's so clean. The Aurora, that's the Aurora. Looks so nice. Pop a couple map screenshots that they've that they've leaked on the screen right now. So we have this is Cobblestone that they're adding to the game. Kind of showing, kind of leaking what kind of maps they're working on right now. So we can see that they're actually working on other maps too. So what we can see is uh, there's four new maps. So we got Season is 100% done, Breach is 90% done. Huskian is 10% done and Ancient is 10% done. So these are new maps that they're adding to the current maps that they have in the game right now. So this this is not replacing the maps. This is just adding to the to current maps that we have. So we're just going to have a bunch more maps to play with. And it's actually super exciting. And that just shows that they're actually working on the game like pretty fast. Like they got these maps working. They got skins making in the making. They got models being made. They got animations being made. They got, they're making everything get recoded. And I quickly wanted to show you guys this too. It's just basically the counterblocks site. It just says we are currently porting assets into a new engine. So they're redoing all of counterblocks. And once the game is back up, you can expect some new mechanics and better performance. So they're all they're just making the game so much better. And just give it some time. Once the game, once counterblocks 2 comes out, this game is going to be insane. It's going to be so much fun. And it's just going to be the better counterblocks. I just can't wait for it to come out. And I'm super excited to see how it turns out. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.